video. I'm going to do a reaction video to some of the exhausts that I've seen on the internet. Thank you to all the owners that have let me use their videos. This video would not be possible without you. Ooh, let's have a cup of tea. So before we look at the videos, I'm going to actually look at the exhaust on the NC. It's made of three main sections. First is the manifold, and these are usually made of cast iron. They're really cheap, they're really good at muffling noise, but they're also normally heavy. So from factory, Mazda fits a catalyst inside the manifold, and this is termed a WUTWC on the um, workshop manual diagram, and that just stands for warm-up three-way catalyst. There are two lambda sensors in the car. I think one is pre-cat inside the manifold, and one is post first cat. There is also a second cat in the car, which is down in the mid pipe. Second part of the exhaust is the mid pipe, and that's a big long tube that runs from the catalytic converter to the back box. In the instance of the NC, there is a secondary catalytic converter, which means that if you get rid of that first primary cat, the second one is still there to make sure your car passes emissions tests. As far as I can tell from looking at the workshop manual, the NC also features a small resonator at the back, which I think is often overlooked, and that's located just before the back box. Now the back box is a big box that you see at the rear of the car, so this video is primarily going to focus on sound. I've also given a rough price. It might be more than that, it might be less than that, but it's a rough guide so that you can see as a viewer watching this. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and turn all your notifications on so that you'll never miss my videos. Right, so this is a cobalt back box. I like the exhaust tips on it. It sounds a little bit fruity. There's a little, some burbles on there. So that sounds pretty good to me. Um, the Cobalt, that's just the back box. Uh, I think that sounds like stock plus. It sounds stock, but a little bit deeper, a little bit fruitier. And for 238 pounds, I mean, I wouldn't complain if my car sounded like that. Next up, Cobra Sport Road. Right, I've heard a lot about these. Okay, so I'd say that sounds like stock plus plus, the road version of Cobra Sports back box. You can see the price there, 525 pounds. It sounds like nice and burbly. Uh, obviously this isn't at full chat. I'd love to hear it at full chat. That would be quite cool. They should fit these from factory, I reckon. Okay, so this is a Cobra Sport race. This is the louder version. I prefer the exhaust tips on these as well. Still quite big though. Okay, so that, that sounded pretty good to me. Uh, obviously, I couldn't tell a huge difference between the two. I'm sure there is, and I've also actually seen a lot of forums say which is better, the road or the race, and I think if you're just going for one mod, you'd probably go for the race, but if you've probably got like a decap manifold, you probably want the road because that's gonna be quite loud. Um, no idea on noise limits on track, I'd love to know. So this is the Greddy or GR Ready, I can never say it, Greddy TIC, which would suggest that it's titanium. TI is the symbol for titanium on the periodic table. Uh, C, don't know what that means, but this is just the back box of that. And again, 330 pounds, that's a pretty reasonable price. So let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Oh, that's deep. That's got a deep rumble to it, I like that. Again, quite big tail pipes. Oh, dog. That sounded really good to me. Probably one of the better ones that I've heard so far. Titanium is obviously a lightweight material if that exhaust is even titanium. I'm just guessing. Titanium is also like less dense than steel, so um, they tend, titanium exhausts tend to sound better because they have like a more metallic um, quality to the sound of them. They're also obviously lighter and stronger, so you can make them thinner wall thickness. Next. Next up, we've got a very long name, Goodwin Racing. Everyone knows who Goodwin Racing are in the MX-5 community, especially you guys in America. Uh, NC Rose to Sport Race Back Box. And this is a single exit muffler. So obviously you've got half the amount of metal in the car because you've got only one exit coming out. These are more performance exhausts because obviously they weigh a lot less than the standard and some people really like the singles. Let me know down below if you'd have a single or a twin exit exhaust. 
that sounds uh, very fruity, maybe too fruity. Rev it up, rev it up, go on. Rev it, rev it. Ah, oh, shame. Between that one and the Greddy for me so far. Okay, so next up is Gary's car. So I've filmed Gary's car a couple of times. Um, it's no longer in this form, it's now supercharged. Uh, but this was when it had a BBR decap manifold, a BBR 200 cell mid pipe, so that's a 200 cell catalytic converter, and a Cobra Sport race back box. This is the most expensive exhaust that we've seen so far, and I reckon it's going to sound good. <laughs> I'd love to know how loud this is in real life. Very raspy, I like it. Obviously it's going to sound pretty good because it's got three modified sections to the exhaust. There's no stock exhaust left on that car. Love to know how loud it is in real life. Uh, next up we've got James's car. This is actually an old video of James's car. I've got another clip at the end of this video where this thing sounds insane. It sounds pretty good here. So this is with a BBR decap manifold. We've got a high flow mid pipe which I think is the same as what we've just heard with Gary's. That's the 200 cell mid pipe. Uh, as well as a, a Goodwin Racing Helmholtz design. And the Helmholtz, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, is a single exit as well. But it sounds loud, that sounds good. It sounds louder than... Imagine James's neighbours liked him very much with that setup, but um, that sounded that sounded pretty good. That's um, I don't know. Is it too loud? I don't know. Can it all be too loud? You let me know down in the comments. Next up, a red NC True Red. Like it, NC Two Tom. Like your car. BBR decap, decap mid pipe. So this car is running no cats. Probably a little bit smelly when you walk past it. That sounded awesome, and it sounded even better because of the burnout, like that. This next clip is from a channel called Miata Mood. This is a very cool car. It's got a power retractable hardtop. He's got a sick yellow wrap on it. It's the first one I've ever seen. He's even wrapped inside the doors, look, which is like full on effort, and I like that. Let's go follow this dude. Full start. That tickles me, that does. Sounds good. So now we've got the Racing Beat decap, the stock mid pipe, and then IL Motorsport. This is a, you know, an expensive system. IL Motorsport back boxes are expensive. They look really cool. Um, the exhaust hips are huge, and they they have. I put one on screen. They have like funky twin mufflers at the back. They're very very cool. See that? Just sounds awesome. That to me is probably. In a 
efficiently and it sounded awesome. That is the best sounding one in my opinion so far. And um, follow Miata Mood on Instagram. <laughs> Lowest volume? What? Oh, I'm excited. Oh, you can hear that from my way. that thing is loud. Okay, so this is the last clip of the day and um, it, it's James's car that we saw earlier and I said we were gonna come back to it. We had a second clip of it. So this is, as far as I'm aware, in its current state, this car features individual throttle bodies. Each cylinder has its own throttle body and its own butterfly valve, unlike normal NCs, which are port injection. So it just has one throttle body and then mixes the air and fuel inside the inlet manifold and um, yeah, it doesn't sound as cool as this. This car also has 225 horsepower. So let's have a listen. Oh. That thing is like half a mile away and you can still hear it. Let me know which one of these exhausts you think sounds the best in the comments section below. All of these cars are naturally aspirated, so if we can get this video to 200 likes, I'll make another one of these videos, but with forced induction cars. Thank you to all of the video owners that have let me use these clips. I've linked all the videos down below in the description box. I make a lot of videos about my True Red NC, and I'd love to have you along and part of the Car Thought team, so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Until then, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, and I hope to see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you.